Welcome to the deep dive. So today we're looking at artificial intelligence. It's everywhere, right? Yeah. But we want to dig into a uh, maybe a less discussed side. Mm. Are we getting too dependent on it? Like, could relying on AI too much actually hold us back? That's exactly the question. Yeah, it's um, it's a bit like having a super helpful friend, you know. Okay. Always there to help. But what if that friend uh, starts doing literally everything for you, like your homework back in the day? Ah, uh, right. You stopped learning how to do it yourself. Precisely. You could lose the knack entirely. Okay. Okay. Let's make this concrete. <laughs> how about uh, getting around navigation, GPS? So many of us just punch in the address and go. It's incredibly convenient, no doubt about it. But there's a potential hidden cost there to our own, um, our own internal compass, you could say. How so? Well, think about it. When you're just passively following those turn-by-turn -turn directions, you're maybe not building that mental map, that spatial awareness in your brain. Mm -hmm. Your brain isn't working that muscle. So if the tech suddenly fails, your phone dies, no signal you could be, well, genuinely lost. Like completely lost. Yeah. Because you haven't practiced even basic map reading or just paying attention to landmarks. Exactly. Those fundamental skills still matter. It's important to keep them sharp, even with the tech. It really feels like our brains are just outsourcing the job of navigation. That's a good way to put it. And uh, this probably goes beyond just driving, right? What about skills we use at work? AI doing data analysis, writing reports. Yeah, it's the same principle. It's efficient, definitely. Saves time. But could it also mean um, our own analytical skills, our critical thinking starts to get a bit rusty? So it erodes our abilities over time. Potentially. Think of uh, maybe a chef who starts using machines for everything, chopping, mixing, even cooking. Okay. They might become super efficient at managing the machines, but their actual hands-on feel for the ingredients, the uh, the core craft that could fade. Right. They lose the intuition. Exactly. And if we constantly hand off complex thinking tasks to AI, it might affect our own adaptability, maybe even, you know, future job opportunities down the line. That's, yeah, that's a significant point. Tangible consequences. OK, what about something like uh, security? AI home security systems, they promise peace of mind. They do offer a sense of safety, which is great. But flip <laughs> side could be um, a false sense of security, complacency. What do you mean? Well, if we start thinking, oh, the AI is watching, it's got everything covered, maybe we stop being as vigilant ourselves, we lower our own guard. We stop paying attention to the little things. Right. And more broadly, if we lean too heavily on AI for making decisions, or even just for information, do we stop questioning things? Do we stop thinking critically? That critical thinking muscle gets weaker from lack of use. That's the worry. It could make us more vulnerable to mistakes, maybe even manipulation, if we just accept the AI's output without really engaging our own brains. Okay, that's definitely sobering. And tied into all this, there's the data issue, isn't there? AI needs lots of data, often our data. Absolutely, and if we're just constantly using these services, relying on them day in, day out, maybe we become a bit passive about where our information is going. Less conscious of the data trail we're leaving. Yeah. So it's really crucial for, you know, for you listening to stay aware of that, to think mm -hmm. about your digital footprint, prioritize your data safety, even while you're getting the benefits of AI. Right. So we've mapped out some potential uh, pitfalls here. What's the main takeaway? How should we approach this as AI gets even more embedded in our lives? I think the core idea is mindful engagement really see AI as a tool, a powerful one for sure, but a tool to augment what you can do, not a replacement for your own skills. Don't let it become a crutch. Exactly. And actively, consciously work on your critical thinking. Try to understand, you know, how things work, at least the basics, instead of just taking the AI's word for it. So it's like, use the GPS, sure, but maybe once in a while, try navigating with landmarks or even, dare I say, a paper map. Huh. Yes, maybe. Or let AI help crunch the numbers but still take the time to understand the analysis yourself. Practice those skills. Stay alert, even if you have the best security system. It's about keeping that active connection. To the world and to your own abilities, that balance. Leveraging AI's power while intentionally nurturing our own skills. That's key, I think, for navigating what's coming. Makes perfect sense. This has been a really insightful deep dive. Okay, yeah. so here's a final thought for you to mull over. Where in your own lives, maybe without even realizing it, are you leaning a bit too heavily on AI? And what's just one small thing you could try this week to exercise that self-reliance muscle again? Think about it. Thanks for joining us on The Deep Dive. Mm -hmm.